This is Commander Shepard. Welcome to RoboFett's Bounty. Hello, this is Rob from Raw Effects Bounty. Another special video today. I've got a few of my YouTube friends going to chip in on this video near the end. And this is a Ninja Turtles video. And this is going to be our favourite characters and why we like them. So mine, as you can obviously tell, you know, I've got this guy tattooed on my chest. Um, I cosplay as him. My favourite character is a Stuck. <laughs> I'm only joking, it's not really. The character that I choose for this video is going to be Shredder. In the original Mirage comics, he died in the very first magazine. The comics, should we say, but through the many, many series, he's been the staple villain for the series. This is the OG one we have here. The issue we've got with him is his positioning. He wasn't straight legs, so it's really impossible to stand up. Um, there's also some really, really shocking figures in the line. Like we've got a transforming one here and what this does is it's shit to be honest you flip them over mm -mm. not going well no jump cut <laughs> what the hell there he is he's missing the front cone but he's the kind of little driller that goes up to the surface that is the transforming shredder Let's spin the camera around and look at some of the bad ones and some of the good ones. Right everybody, now we spin around, let's start off with the crap ones. We've already seen the drill, it is shocking. We have the one from The Next Mutation. This is a series that had the female turtle. As you see, it looks pretty much more like a Power Ranger. But they did do a spin-off with the Power Rangers in that series. Let's get him over there, he's another shit one. Right, from the newest film. Shredder, look at this. This is just a shockingly shit figure when I mean, you compare it to the others. He's, he doesn't even deserve a stand. He's going to lay down. Right, we've already had the OG one. He's got his cape there. Obviously, as you see, the position as he stands, not the best. The next one that they released was this this one here. Had a feature where you turn this and bit spin around on him. But it was a shredder that was standing up rather than kneeling down like a ninja, I guess. Well, what we've got next, let's have a look at a transform one here. Your Roku Saki there. All you do is you flip him up and the back of his head, let's get him open. You have in there, get him open. Well, that was a real pain in the ass getting his helmet out, so let's get his helmet on. Can it become Shredder? Another kind of transforming one that weren't the best. Stand up there. We have a Nickelodeon kids one here. Makes noises with batteries, but unfortunately we've run out of batteries. There you go, it does a little run. There is Nick Shred. We have, I really like Nickelodeon Shredder to be honest. It was quite menacing and obviously it's got really good articulation on this figure. That's an unmasked one. Really cool shredder there. Got a, a masked one here. This is the first release. 
it's going to stand up yes right we have some mutated treaders we have this one with some crabby hands pretty sweet stand him up please stand up shredder or lay down there we go we have the goro shredder that was in a recent video that dave one of my subscribers and friends sent to me there is the Goro Shredder and one of my favourites this is a cool shredder, look at him you can't get one with removable armour that I've got in a box somewhere somewhere right, where are we going to stick him? let's get him over there right, and my best shredder as you know, I'm going to move this camera back a bit you've seen this one before this is the movie Necker Shredder. The detail on this figure is fantastic. We've also got removable front visor there. We've got the scar on his face that Splinter gave him. That actually just clips on the front. We've got multiple hands you can swap with him. You got your shoulder pads as well. Lovely shine to him. Although I've got fond memories of the vintage, this is the shredder we all wait we've all been waiting for. Fantastic looking shredder in the middle of the shredder army. Let's just pan around and see our shredders from Nickelodeon. There we go, look. and there is the bad boy at the front. I don't recall him having this silver cape in the film, but obviously with the Blu-rays, you can obviously see the high deafness of the footage and it is silver. There we've got the crabby one, shocking next mutation one at the back, another transforming one, OG in the background. And that is my Shredder collection and personally my favorite character in the series, and I don't really mind him in the first Michael Bay film, although he was a bit transformer risk, he was massive, he was still shredded to me. Right guys, that's me done. Let's go over the seas to go and see John and see his collection and who he likes. Enjoy. Up everyone, how you doing Shredder? So, Acid Burn here, coming on a one here. Um, so, which one is my favorite Ninja Turtles and to be honest with you, it's kind of depends on the series, really, like the old comic books, the old black and white comic books before, and colors, whatever. My favorite one was, uh, well, still is, Michelangelo and Raphael on that one. And if we're going up to the 80s, like the cartoon 80s one, it was definitely Raphael, because he's, he's more of a smart ass, kind of like a, you know, just the way he is and everything, I love that. And then, what's next? We got Next Mutation. <laughs> hmm. I don't know about that one. I didn't like any of their personalities on that one. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. And then the 2003 one was uh, Raphael, of course, and I did like Donatello in that one. Michelangelo, he uh, he was kind of annoying, but Raphael and Donatello in that one, 2003 one. And then the 2012 one was Michelangelo, Raphael. And I actually did like Leonardo, yes, and yeah, and then when that Rise of the Turtles, no, I didn't, no, <laughs> no, I read, I don't know, but mostly it's always going to end up being Michelangelo or Raphael, it's one of those two, always going to be like top favorite ones right there, um, so let me show you around here real quick. Remind you, I don't have all my stuff here. It still needs to be set up and ship to where I am located now. But I'll show you a little piece here and there. The giant turtles, giant mutation turtles, giant movie turtles, giant. Wow, I probably forgot the name. I can't believe I did that. 
Right, yeah, a lot of them all piling in there, including the mutagen ooze with the Ghostbusters, ghosts and the turtles on top, the Surio and the bulls, and so on. Believe me, if I show you off my collection, I will be here for like three weeks trying to get them all in there. I'm just showing you more of the turtles ones. I got, I got these guys right up here. It's not just the new stuff, the old stuff's in there. Pile behind each other. Whatever you hear them because the fan's on. And I decorated my Michelangelo. So like I said, I'm just moving things around. Sorry for the mess. Oop, a little orb just went by. But once I get all my stuff here and all, you know, put together nicely, I'll definitely make a full video on my own channel so you get to see an update on it. But, yeah. Be complete. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Glenge those all ready for the war. Yeah, it's a little messy. I was trying to move things around. Time to put everything together. Stop that camera. Of course, all the way around. To end it, I mean, I can't do it with one hand, but <clears throat> I got my Ninja Turtle tattoos, Raphael, and then a Mad Ball with Michelangelo. Here, it's my Leonardo and Donatello. Oh, forgot one more over here. Casey Jones. And I need to get someone to actually know how to do metal tattoos because then I can have my shredder done. But that is it for that. Hopefully, hopefully, blah, blah, blah. hopefully this video is good. And um, I'll see you around, buddy. Take care. Cheers from America. Happy hunting. Hello there, my name is Jamie Pell and I'm here to talk to you about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has been a big part of my life since I was very little. It was one of the first big craze I ever got into. Absolutely was there when it first started back in 1987 on the cartoon series. And it was shown in the UK, it was called Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, the animated series this is. And I absolutely loved it. And my favourite turtle was Donatello. Always has been and always will be. Then of course the movie came along and I absolutely loved the movie. And of course I collected loads and loads of the toys and the figures throughout the, the years of all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now a lot of my Ninja Turtle figures are, are put away so I can't show you all of them. But I'll show you a couple just to whet your appetite. But um, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 1990 movie is actually my favourite film of all time. And please don't judge me on that. 
<laughs> I absolutely love it. It's such a great story. It's one of the best comic book movies ever made. It's funny, it's emotional, it's uh, well paced, it's well written, it's well acted. This, the uh, puppets by Jim Henson are superb. And I, my brother and my dad recently picked me up some uh, figures from the 1990 movie produced by NECA. Now, not the big ones, because those are really expensive, but the actual smaller versions, the seven inch sort of size. I will show that again in a video. And I absolutely love them. I think they're my favorite Ninja Turtle figures. So, yes, so Ninja Turtles, like I said, it is one of my favorite franchises ever. Um, I like all the movies, even the crap ones. And I can't wait for what's to come as well. And I'm always keeping my eye out on the figures. I've got my eye out on the Casey Jones and Raphael in his raincoat from the 1990 Ninja Turtles being produced again by NECA. I really hope NECA make an April O'Neil for the 1990 movie. I really need that. And a Tatsu, Tatsu, whatever his name is. <laughs> Shredder's right hand man. Uh, like I said, it is a fantastic franchise. And Ninja Turtles is something I have a huge passion for. I always have time for something new Ninja Turtles and I do recommend it for those who have an open mind and an open heart. Anyway, so that is my uh, video and I'm going to leave you a, clip of some, a couple of clips of my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff. I hope you like it. Like I said, it's not much because like I said, most of it is put away um, because of space, etc. But uh, maybe in a future video I'll upload it to and I'll send it to Rob Affair and he can sort it out and put another video or something. But until then, here's those clips. I'll see you again soon. Take care and stay safe. Hello everyone, I'm Hero Ken Flat, or just simply known online as Hero through many fan communities, particularly uh, Transformers and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, I co-run GoGreenMachine.org with uh, my partner in crime, Toka. Now there's a name you know, will have heard once or twice in the Ninja Turtles fan community. If you haven't heard of Toka yet, just Google, you know, Google search the guy. His art's amazing. There's a plug for you. Um, so yeah, gogreenmachine.org. That is my Turtles site that Toka and I run. Very cool. Uh, we really should post there more often. It's very cool. Uh, I also independently run a toy blog called figuredout.org. Uh, that's a souped up blog spot account with a domain address. I've been doing that for the past uh, nearly 13 years, so I'm thinking of retiring that blog, but yeah, if you're looking for something to, to have a look at, yeah, figureitout.org. I've got a massive archive of toy reviews and features and stuff, um, so yeah. Anyway, um, Rob has asked me to do a feature on, on uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures. I threw together what I could. I got the kids in bed while I'm hoping they're still in bed and there's a bit of daylight which is good and so I'm going to carry on um, so I picked Michelangelo he was my favorite turtle growing up so this one first Michelangelo figure from the original Playmates line I've even painted the little string bits on the nunchucks and a bit of mithril silver that is because I don't know, I just wanted to touch it up a bit, but this is my original Michelangelo from when I was a kid. My parents went for a lot of trouble getting me these turtle figures during the run-up to Christmas 1990. Uh, they queued up outside Toys R Us. My dad would talk on the CB radio to the delivery driver. They went for a lot of trouble getting me these turtles. So to have sold those on would have been, I don't know, you know, my so they've got a lot of sentimental value. I mean, I'll probably get buried with these figures, who knows? Uh, but yeah, so 
original playmates Michelangelo. Not perfect representation of the figure, but it is, he's always been close to my heart. So I'm going to put that one away. Grab a second figure out very quickly. So I have Midshipman Michelangelo, or Midshipman Mike, part of the uh, mutant military subline. Uh, Playmates had this thing about dressing the turtles up in all sorts of outfits imaginable. I think it carried on into their Star Trek toy line and uh, with a holodeck spin on it. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> Playmates were really uh, owning it back in the 90s. Just the detail on that is really cool. Um, I've got all those accessories in this tote bag, uh, including that really cool little seagull sidekick. So, yeah, Midshipman Mikey, uh, Wrestler Mikey, uh, Bandito Bashing Mikey, other highlights in the original Turtles line, all favourites of mine. Right, 2012 Michelangelo. Um, I saw an early uh, review of this figure. It, uh, I think it was a Comic-Con exclusive. It was the first one that fans got to take home and I just fell in love with this design. And it was back when um, the Turtles were, re you know, the third toe, it just shook the internet to its very core. But that third toe made for some action figures that stood properly. So I'm, I, I actually like the third toe on, on the Ninja Turtle designs. I know they've gone back to two toes now with Rob's favorite series, Rise of the Turtles. Um, but yeah, I, I like this. I, I, Nickelodeon Mike, Mikey, very cool. Um, let's see, I'm having a little rummage through this bag. I'm going to have to, ah, yes. Lego Michelangelo. Uh, very first Ninja Turtle I bought as a Lego figure. Uh, it made a, an appearance in the first Lego movie. Cemented as a master builder alongside Michelangelo. Uh, those giant scale nunchucks on it. Very cool. This came in a set with a Krang figure. It was one of the early sets. But uh, yeah, Lego Mikey's really cool. Um, I think there was a few... Uh, there was a set with him in, in a, with a remote control party wagon. Let's see what i got. This is a Transformers tote bag I got off Etsy, by the way. This is supposed to be about Ninja Turtles. Uh, I've got one more figure in here. Uh, and no, Rob, it's not Rise, Mikey. Uh, don't get your hopes up. Uh, I'm going to grab in a second. Uh, it's in the bag. Aha! So, yeah. One of the last um, figures of the 2012 line. This one is Werewolf, Mikey. And he's got a really cool sort of Teen Wolf sort of uh, thing going there. And the pizza slice. Very cool. Bony nunchucks. Uh, varsity jacket with the M on. They did the horror movie Turtles originally with Playmates. But uh, Mikey was, I think he was the Frankenstein. And they switched it around with the Turtles. So that in this new version of, of the uh, horror movie Turtles, Donnie was Frankenstein. Uh, yeah, Leonardo was the vampire. But yeah, Mikey, werewolf Mikey is very, very, very cool. Um, so it's one of the one of the last figures of that 2012 toy line. I really miss uh, Turtles 2012. And you know what? I think that's it actually. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, thanks for thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for inviting me, Rob. Um, hope to do it again sometime. And I'll leave it. <laughs> I said that again. This is going to be a drinking game. Have a good one, everyone. Stay tuned.
name's Phil Wilson, uh, aka My One Man Band. I make music and I uh, collect toys. You can follow me on Instagram, My One Man Band. Uh, my music's on Facebook under My One Man Band as well. Uh, and I tend to hang around on all the toy forums just under my own name, uh, doing deals and buying and selling toys that I love. Um, I'm into all the stuff from, well, from when I was born, early 80s, all the way through to uh, when I stopped toy collecting, probably far too late, uh, about 94. So, lots of good lines there, including uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, today uh, I've been asked to talk about one of my favourite lines from there, my favourite characters from there. And uh, I must say, of all the characters that I've seen, my favourite would have to be uh, Genghis Frog. Now, I think the thing that I really like about him is he, he's definitely of his era. He's got that real uh, Miami Vice kind of Hawaiian shirt vibe, which is something that I myself can I can vibe with. I I, I get that. I remember as a kid, my favourite GI Joe figure was Chuckles for the same reason, and I've actually got quite a niche collection of various Hawaiian shirted figures. I've got the guy from uh, Bucky O'Hare as well there with his uh, his great Tropicana t-shirt. Um, yeah, I, I love that era. It just captures a lot of nostalgia for me. Um, and also the fact that one of his accessories that came with uh, Genghis Frog was a pair of shades, which they barely fit on him, but I do think they're they're an amazing accessory, uh, along with his, his tongue gun. Oh boy, clothes! He's telling the truth. He is a nice person. Another one of my favourite characters um, is definitely Casey Jones. Um, I think Casey is a great character. I remember him probably first seeing him in the uh, in the movie. So to me, I always love the fact that he was kind of the first uh, human other than April who was kind of invited into the gang. And he always seemed kind of a little bit ambiguous. I like those ambiguous characters a bit like... Uh, Storm Shadow in G.I. Joe and uh, you, you, nearly all the lines in the day had like one character like Zodak where you couldn't quite tell whether they were good or bad um, uh, I think Casey was was a really good uh, of his time kind of anti-hero and I love the fact that he had his own golf caddy bag to put his weapons in he came with a couple of uh, bats and, and, and a big hockey stick um, I thought they were really cool accessories to uh, to accompany a guy with a uh, ice hockey face mask, goalie mask. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, overall I think the line's got some really interesting characters. Um, some great designs, some really good sculpts and uh, that 5.5 kind of scale just really appeals to me in all the bright colours. Uh, I think they display really well. I've got all mine out on display, one of my brightest cabinets. I think it really makes the colours um, pop. Well, that was a crime, you curse scrubbing pukes. And this is uh, the penalty. Today I've been out and about at car boot sales and uh, actually managed to pick up a, another Turtles character for my collection, and that's Fugitoid. Uh, I really like this guy. He was a, a bit of a, a cheap find for me, so I'm quite happy to add him to my collection. I'm not that worried about weapons and accessories for sort of the more periphery characters. I'm, I'm glad to say that. I've got nearly all the weapons for the uh, the main characters still from childhood, but this guy's uh, he's okay on his own. Uh, he's got that kind of he reminds me a lot of Bucky O'Hare's uh, Blinky character. I think he, he's got a lot of that vibe. I don't know whether they maybe borrowed a bit of the design, but he's uh, he's hard plastic rather than bendy, and he's going to go uh, into the collection now and uh, sit alongside his other uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle brethren. So. Anyway, as I say, follow me uh, on Instagram, my woman band, and uh, great to talk to you all. Bye. It's getting a bit tight in here. I think he'll uh, have to go on the bottom shelf facing out there. There we go. Hello, my name's Kev Fleming, I'm the owner of Manic Miners Toy Store and it's all about Ninja Turtles today and I've brought down my favourite. Okay, this is my favourite from the Ninja Turtles range. This is Rock and Roller Ref, roughly made in 91, 92, 
when they were going all totally batshit crazy with ideas. There was four different types, and this one is my personal favourite. As a lifelong lover of heavy metal, this is the true embodiment like he's straight out of a Motley Crue video. We've got the microphone on the belt, we've got the guitar. I actually had a guitar like that, and it's two strings. I'm nice and happy with that, makes it even easier to play. The others, you had a, a punk rock Donatello, there was a hard rocker Leonardo, and there was a Michelangelo who had a big run DMC clock. They were all good, but this one feels as though Playmates had a meeting and it was just made just for me. So yeah, there we go. Cheers. Hello, I'm Kev Fleming. Um, uh... <laughs> Hello, I'm Kev Fleming. I'm the owner of Manic Miner's Toy Store. And I'm gonna get... <laughs> we all good? Okay, this is... Rock and Roller Raff. He was made in roughly 91, 92, and they were part of a range where. And I've gone again. <laughs> okay, this is my favourite of all time. This is Rock and Roller Raff from the range. We had. There was. <laughs> can we just get. If I keep going and you can splice or. Okay, this is my favourite from the range. This is the rock and roll of the range. Robber Fett's Bounty signing off. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. See you real soon.